How's it going? My name is John and I am a mortgage broker located in Canada and welcome to another video. If this is your first time here and you want to learn ways to improve for a mortgage, home buying tips and other mortgage related stuff, start now by subscribing and clicking on the notification button so you won't miss anything. I have the privilege to be the mortgage broker offering preferred rates for this project and to work alongside Sandra to help launch this exciting opportunity. So Sandra, it's great to see you and it's uh, great to visit this beautiful presentation center again. Yeah, thank you John for coming by. How are you doing? Pretty good. Um, yeah, I'm just excited to learn more about this exciting new project. So perhaps you can tell me more about this uh, this project. Of course. So Oxford Townhomes is situated in 738 and 728 Ewan Avenue and we're very close to the community center which is right next door. We're also in the school zone Require it has middle school and elementary school as well and uh, our presentation center is not really far from our site because uh, we're just about five minutes drive away from our um, project site. And what are some highlights that people are really excited about um, to take advantage of for this project? Okay, besides the price, which we start in six ninety nine nine hundred, and uh, for Oxford Town Home, we have very great strata fee, only eighteen cents, which also include our um, garden place and the children's playgrounds. And I understand that this presentation center has been. Uh, open for about a couple of months now mm -hmm. and what kind of clients are you seeing that's walking through the door? Yes, we have opened about two months. Uh, within two months, we have sold over 70% for our phase one and phase two. And most of people that came in, they are young family and uh, from Vancouver, Burnaby or Richmond. Excellent. So can we take a tour of this beautiful presentation center? Of course. Come with me. So here we are, John. Okay. Do you know where we are at this point? Uh, I just know we're in Queensboro. Okay, awesome. So we're right over here, Queensboro Lending Outlet Mall, right? Over 58 retail shops and restaurants. From here to our site, it's about, I would say, less than three minutes drive. Very, very close. Okay. And then um, right beside our project site, like I mentioned, there's a community center, which has a badminton, it has a gym. At the same time, on Ewan Avenue, there are lots of different parks, and then there are basketball court, there's a tennis court. From here to the Port Royal Community Garden, which is very beautiful, and most of our purchasers, they're all basically young families as well. Mm -hmm. So of course, from here to Vancouver and Richmond, with no traffic less than 15 to 20 minutes. Right. From here to Burnaby, of course, it's about next neighbors, five, 10 minutes. Yeah. If you want to go down to Ikea in Kukulam, 15 minutes drive. So it's yeah. pretty central also for, for, for driving as well. Yeah, it's very, very central. It's more like, usually I mentioned to clients that it's like a Stevenson, Port Royal community area and Queensboro, but don't have Stevenson price. Oh, okay. Yeah. <laughs> All right, so let me show you our site plan. Okay. Well, I see that some units have been, actually not some, there's quite a few sold already. Yes, yeah, so we are on Ewens and Campbell streets. Yeah. There will be a new street open up called Oda Street. So this street, which our entrance coming from, in and out, mm -hmm. right? Imagine if your entrance is in the front, that will create more noise, mm -hmm. right? More busy. Yeah, busy. Yes. So it's very smart to have the entrance in the back. At the same time, it is total 69 units. We are doing phase one and phase two. This coming weekend, we will open our phase three. So John, within two months, we sold over 70% for our phase one and wow. phase two. Yes, That's amazing. Good. Yeah, and of course, our phase three, we're gonna open on this weekend. Okay. It's an amazing position. A lot of um, people who are prefer north south facing, this will be a perfect location for them. Okay, so let me explain a little bit about our four plans. Sure. Okay, so we have um, ABCD plans. Right now, what we still have remaining for phase one, which is the B plan and the A plan. So the B plan, it is a tenant garage, over four, almost 1,400 square foot. Oh, that's huge. It's a huge. Yeah. 
and it's lovely, it's facing a green garden, right? So the bee plants, they're facing east and west. So the bee plant, typically their living room and the other two bedrooms will be facing east and a nice green garden. Oh, okay. <laughs> That'll be a nice view. It will be a very nice zen view. And the nice thing about bee plant is um, it has a stair from outside mm -hmm. on the ground floor, can go up to your balcony. Okay. So imagine it's a COVID time, right? You don't, yeah. you still want to hang out with your friends, but you don't want them to come to your house. So they can just <laughs> hang out exactly. outside. Exactly. They come into your stair or sit on the stairs. Yeah. <laughs> I know that's mean, but no. <laughs> and of course, our A plan. Mm -hmm. This is A plan is side by side garage, thirteen thirty four square foot, has a lovely front yard and lovely front house look. Your front door is, looks like your front door, your garage is in your back. So you do have a two entrance. So one is the front, one is the back. Okay. Mm -hmm. I like the fact that you mentioned it's uh, the garage. It's, you can fit two cars in it. Yes, right. it's side by side. Yeah, you don't really see that anymore for, for brand new townhomes. You just have to pay a little bit more. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> but however, our price is extremely, extremely good. Yeah. That one's only at seven twenty nine nine hundred. Oh, that's very affordable for a townhome. For townhome, yeah. it's super affordable. And of course, you can see our B plan. Mm -hmm. They mostly all so ready. Right. And our phase two, same thing. Our D plan and the B plan. Our B plans, this is the B1 plans, this is a nice front porch, tenant garage. The best thing is starting $699,900, which is these two, these four inside. And how, how many bedrooms are there for? for They're all three bedrooms and two and a half bath. Oh, that's like, that's perfect for, uh, for a young family. Exactly, exactly. And overall, for our four plans, it has a gas barbecue on your balcony, LED light over your your main floor. So our standard optional upgrades are laminate flooring for your third floor. You have EV charging, and you also have a waterfall feature for your kitchen island. Okay. And then also there's a cabinet for our typical A plan above your laundry. So John, follow me. I'll show you some of our floor plans. Sure. Let's okay. take a look. All right. So John, all right, here we go. We got three different floor plans from the smallest to the largest. Okay, okay. so this is our plan A. Plan A, okay. Plan A. So plan A, I have a few different floor plans, but in our phase one and phase two, I only have one remaining, which is A1 plan, but it doesn't show on here. But I'm just gonna give you like a um, simple rundown of what an A plan look like. Sounds good. Okay. So the A plan has a side-by-side -side garage. It has a beautiful porch right in the front. It's a nice foyer. Nice thing about foyer is like if you when your shoes are wet from a rainy day, you have a dog, you can clean them up before you go upstairs. Right. And this space is very useful. It also has a closet as well where you put your jackets away. Mm -hmm. And it has a nice window along your staircase. You come upstairs, this is a huge space for living and dining room. Very wide, right? Very spacious, especially when you have a kids. Like you yourself have a kid, right? Well, Nora, the running around, it doesn't hit any corner. Okay. Right? That's a very, very um, good. Very open concept. Very open concept. Yeah. Of course, we also have an L-shaped kitchen as well. This L-shaped kitchen has um, a lot of cabinet in there. And above the sink is a nice window, right? This window is not a dead window, it's so actually can open up. Oh, perfect. Yes. So there's some fresh air going in and out exactly. when you're cooking. Exactly, while you're cooking, yes. So we have also have a nice island with a three different cedar. Mm -hmm. And as I mentioned, it has a waterfall feature that included. And watch your dryer side by side. There's a cabinet above, right? Nice powder room for your guests, right? Come upstairs, that's your master bedroom. And you have a lovely walk-in closet and an ensuite with a standing showers. Second bathroom has a top, comes a top, perhaps for your other guests or for your other kids. And you have 40s two bedroom. Okay, so that's our A plans. So next is our B plans. Yes, our B plan. So our B plan is the most attractive price, which is starting six ninety nine nine hundred. Our tenant garage go up and right. This storage is a um, crawl space, four feet tall. 
and where you can store your Christmas tree, mm -hmm. let's say winter winter clothes or summer clothes, anything that you want to put away, don't want to see it. Okay. You also have a hot and water underneath your staircase. And of course, you also have a nice foyer before when you walk in your home. Come upstairs, living kitchen dining. This kitchen is really exactly the same like our presentation center. And how I like about this floor plan is that while you're cooking, you can talk to people at the dining room, you can also talk to people in the living room. From the living room, you have access to your porch. So this porch is covered. You also have a stair from the bottom, you can climb up to your porch as well, which is your balcony, right? So very convenient. And um, if you come upstairs, your master bedroom has an ensuite. Again, you have a second bathroom for these two bedrooms. These two bedrooms are very long, so perhaps you can put a double, double bed or a queen size bed in here. Okay? So, our D plan, it is our, one of the biggest floor plans, almost 1,500 square foot. Wow, 1,500. I know. That's huge. That's a huge. And it has comes with a side by side garage, huge crawl space storage. It has two entrance. You can come in from the back and come in from the front, back, no, front and back. And you come upstairs. So these two stairs are side by side, right? And it has an open to below. So what's what is open to below is is a high ceiling where you can look down to your first floor. You come upstairs, living, dining, additional family room. That's where the space comes from for our D plan. Okay. L-shaped kitchen again, about your sink, there's a window you can open up. Three different seater for your quartz countertop island. And you got a powder room, your powder room has a window, so this is very useful as well. And you have access to your deck and the stairs, it's where it only has in our phase two, not phase one. Okay. Okay. Come upstairs, your master bedroom has a walk-in closet and for master bedroom bathroom, it has two vanities. So D plan is actually one of our most popular yeah. floor plan because it has two vanities. That will be very helpful. Yes, so so you're not fighting for this. Exactly. Sink. Exactly. <laughs> right? Your washer dryer is on the top, so you're gonna have to go up and down, right? The other two bedroom and then the additional bathroom for the other um, two room. Okay, so in terms of the height, people were wondering what's the height's like. Mm -hmm. So your first floor is eight foot, your second main floor will be nine foot ceiling, your top floor will be eight foot ceilings. Okay. Okay. So you got the higher ceiling uh, yes. for the main okay. Exactly. Yeah, and that'll that'll be very comfortable for for the guests. Yes, yes. And as I also mentioned it has a gas barbecue on your deck as well. And your main living is LED lights. Right? And for right now, our standard package on your top floor is the laminate floor. Your still, your stairs is carpet. Okay. Okay. Hi, John. Welcome to our kitchens. Oh, it's beautiful. Thank you. <laughs> so, let me introduce our um, B plan kitchen. This is a one to one of our B plans. However, however, for the other four plans, they have an L shaped kitchen. Mm -hmm. So, even Larger, okay. B plan kitchen, oversized island with coarse countertop, and these coarse countertop include the undermount sink. This undermount sink is a German made called Blanco Sinegrant. The designer's choice, very durable, and it's matte finishing, which is my favorite. Yeah, we don't see that too often. Usually, it's a silver. It's shiny, it right? Yeah. yeah. So also our faucet. Yeah. It's called Daisy. Yeah. This is, uh, the material is a satin matte finishing. Okay. So it's very durable in terms of uh, people worry about, oh, is the paint's gonna be come off very easily? Yeah. No, because it's extra coating on it. Oh, okay? Great. And I did my research on the YouTube, it's very popular on YouTube. Yeah. Very easily installed as well. I like how it's very stylish, but also very usable as well. Yes, of course. And at the same time, our pendant light will be included in the purchase price for okay. your kitchen. Most of our stain, most of our appliances, all by stainless steel by Kitchen Eight, mm -hmm. except our microwave is by Panasonic. Right. So, John, I want to focus on our uh, Kitchen Eight range hood fan and the stove. It is a commercial grade. It's a very, e very efficient, very powerful. So, let me just demonstrate how powerful they are. So, that's a fan. That's one. That's two. Wow, that. 
Yeah. That's very strong. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> that popped out. <laughs> so how do you clean them? Very easy and all you have to do is pop this down, right? Okay. Put in the dishwasher. That's it. No filter. Oh. And then just pop it back and in. Pop it back in. Oh, this is great for like deep frying or yeah. or like Chinese stir fry mm -hmm. where there's lots of oil and everything. Exactly. This will like This is very easy take and yeah. Out. And at the same time, it's a gas range, five different range. I find this middle, you can do a Korean barbecue. Oh, nice. <laughs> right? And a gas stove as well. And beautiful setting, very commercial look of your switch. Okay? And along our kitchen, it's a coarse countertop, coarse bath splash. This, you will really appreciate when it comes down to cleaning, right? Yeah, because for my home, there's, uh, it's tiles and then there's grout. Yes. And it looks good, it looks pretty. but because there's like different colors, mm -hmm. but once you get oil in there, oh, I, my wife would use like a toothbrush and like <laughs> try to scrub the ground. Maybe it's time to change this. Yeah. <laughs> no, this is this is a great way to uh, maintain. maintain. So you just wipe it. You don't have time to exactly. clean uh, all those small oil things, right? Yes, of and course. I also like how this is, this is also like Quartz. more durable, right? Very durable. Yeah. So it's a scratch resistant and heat resistant for the coarse countertop, okay. okay? So more more so, I would like to introduce our um, very special feature, which is one of my favorites. What's this? Oh, this one on here? Yeah! Oh, there you got the Your spice rack. spice pantry, yeah. Okay, spice rack, whichever you call it. So these rack, you can, uh, you can actually take them out, right? If you think it's too much, you yeah. can. You can take them off for clean. If you think three is too much, you can always take one out for longer bottles. Yeah, that's my favorite. <laughs> that's, it's a must-have in, in Chinese uh, kitchen. Chili <laughs> garlic sauce. That's yeah. my favorite too. <laughs> yes. Okay. So it, it's all soft clothes. Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. So you won't get a big bang. Yes. So maybe one day you're having an argument with uh, your spouse. Yeah, or it'll be a very quiet argument. It'll be very quiet. How dare you? <laughs> <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> and at the same time, we have a huge drawer uh, for our pantry drawer as well. So usually in Asians or any other culture has a big pot, right? So you need a big pot, big drawer to uh, entertain all the other um, different items. It'll fit really well. Yeah, so we got two big drawers here, two of there, so four, and this side you got two, right? right? You got seven of them. Oh, right? yeah, that's more than enough. Yeah, and more of, and at the same time, we also have more different cabinetry, and they're very deep. You can put lots and lots of stuff in there. Okay. And I want to also show you, you come with me here. We also have more longer drawer where you can put oh. maybe like short staircase, short stairs. Yeah, probably maybe brooms or like Swiffers. Yeah, some people just say, can I change that into um, a winery? Oh, <laughs> or that too. Yeah, that too, this would be <laughs> nice. <laughs> yeah, I, I like how all the space is utilized fully. Yes. Yes, and I'm gonna introduce our appliances. Mm -hmm. Our fridge by KitchenAid. It's a fully equipped with a wine rack, filter water, yeah. and lots of drawers. He has three different drawers where you can control your humidity. And there's extra drawer right here. Maybe you put some, pop some champagne in there, you know? And ice making machine on the bottom. That's awesome. Ice maker. That's great. Yeah. And you turn to the back right here, we have our dishwasher by KitchenAid. What I love about this dishwasher, you have utensil tray. So normally people have to bend their knee down and put their spoons and chapstick or fork. Mm -hmm. Just lying out here. Yeah, that's... Very convenient. And here we go. This one, basically you can actually adjust the height from the side. Depends on the height of your plate, right? And you can go up and down. So it's very convenient as well. And more space on the bottom. Okay. 
and all the remotes all on top here. Okay, so this this is our kitchen. And can you show me the bathroom? Yes, of course. Come with me. So here we go, John. This is our master bedroom bathroom. Yeah. So I want to point out some features. Fragrance glass door, wall tile. At the same time, I just want to point out another great feature that, do you see a slope down to the drain? Yeah, yeah. On the bottom? Mm -hmm. Yeah. So that is one of the th greatest things when you take a shower, normally your water stays on the surface. Yes. But this is just kind of quick dry. Oh, okay, yeah. Because uh, if, if the water stays, you're just asking for mold. Exactly. It's just gonna be exactly. it's gonna be dirty and I like how this one is quick dry but also sanitary as well. Yes. And um, the color is very complimentary with also our kitchen. As you can see our hardware handle, it's matte finishing, same time the color is very um, subtle. I see that it's tiles all the way up. Is that for all the bathrooms? Because usually Yes. Developers, they don't do it all the way up. Probably maybe halfway or... To all just, the way up? Yeah. To all the way up. Okay. Mm -hmm. So, John, our toilet is one piece. And the brand of this toilet is called Gaber. It is a sister company with our faucet, our kitchen faucet by Daisy. Oh, so the... They're the same company, oh, okay. the sister company. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And in our washroom also includes a floating cabinet. Yeah. It has extra drawer on the bottom, right? Okay. So you can put different stuff in there. Right. And also soft closing too. It's also soft closing too. So you can't get away with making any noise. Yes, <laughs> <laughs> exactly. So on the mounting, real bell faucet mm -hmm. for your powder room and all washroom. The pendant lights also included for your yeah. washroom as well. And these lights also match up with all the other yeah. uh, lights in, in the in the kitchen, right? Yeah, the hardware, all the most of the hardware, it's all matte finishing. Perfect. Mm -hmm. So John, mm -hmm. let me introduce our different two different color skin. One is Fraser, the other one is Boral. Okay. Yeah, so our kitchen color is Fraser. Yeah, as that. you can see, mm -hmm. the combination of um, the cords and, and, uh, and all the different materials. So between, as I mentioned right now, our standard options, your third floor will be uh, laminate. Yeah. So and then your stair will be carpet. Yeah. So which which option seems to be the more popular choice? I would say the Fraser probably more popular because the people are coming to buy to purchase Oxford. They're all young family, yeah. either married or not married, but all very young professionals. And this color seems just more a little bit more trendier. Okay. Okay. <laughs> yeah. But of course, the lighter color, it does a very appealing because it's kind of brighten out the space, right? It makes the space more spacious, but that's personal choice. I also find that with a little bit lighter color, <clears throat> mm -hmm. you, might not too, you might not need to clean as much because it, it hides the dust a lot more than, than something that's darker. But I can see how that one's more trendy because it, it does stand out. Yes, of course. So we were doing a pour mold. We are doing a promo for our phase ones and um, also phase two as well. So I think the promo will still stand by for phase one and phase two, which include your washer dryer by Whirlpool, alarm system, central vacuum, and also window screen. Oh. That's value $5,000. And that's included? Right now will be phase one and phase two will be included. Wow, okay. That's great. Yeah, those will come in super handy. Especially yeah. like, you don't think about the small things like the window screens. Mm -hmm. uh, lots of my friends who buy pre-sales and they go in and once they start living in it, it gets hot, especially now in the summertime. Right. They open the window and all the flies and bugs come in. <laughs> <laughs> and one time, actually, um, be careful the, for the, uh, the squirrel. Squirrels, they oh, do. They come in. Come in. <laughs> Unless you want to put, you know, treat them like a pet, you know, it's gonna catch them. Yeah. But um, yeah. Probably not. <laughs> <laughs> All right, John. So this is it. Thank you for the tour. It's such a great project. I love all the details about it, and I can see why there's so many units that are being sold. Yeah, we were so popular even just like two months. 
first months we were super busy and we did not even have any social media advertisement in the first months. Yeah. So our media social advertisement just started the second month. Yeah. So hopefully we'll bring more crowd and uh, hopefully we'll sell out phase one, phase two within another month. <laughs> yeah, no, I'm sure you will. Like uh, at this price range, it's, uh, it's great for families who are just maybe upsizing yeah. and uh, everyone's complaining oh it's so unaffordable it's so unaffordable but this is definitely affordable um, for, sure. for, for townhomes yes. and it's actually not that far away uh, not at all New West Queensboro it's so close to Richmond Burnaby uh, it's still um, considered a, a urban area Yes, because um, you won't go wrong from six ninety nine nine hundred mm -hmm. over fourteen hundred square foot of a home, yes. right? And plus, from here to Richmond and Vancouver, even just to Kukulun, yeah. you're like right, right in the middle of an urban area. And for me, I think New New Westminster and Queensboro, they're still kind of part of the Vancouver district. Mm -hmm. They're not Fraser Valley, so people yeah. who are don't want to cross the bridge. This is, I would say, one of the perfect area to you choose one. <laughs> thank you so much for your time. Yeah, thank you so much for coming. So Sandra, that was great. So if someone wants to come visit the presentation center, where is it located? Well, please give me a call or feel free to email me. My phone number would be 604-218-0287 and we open we open on a weekday by appointments. Weekends 25 is also by appointment as well. That's perfect. Thank yeah. you so much. You're welcome.